Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part two of supplements in my Real Talk series. So part two, I just want to share with you all the supplements that will help strengthen my immunity because the toxicity, the mold, the uh, mycotoxins are putting such a stress on my body that it's really suppressing my immunity at the same time. So hence, I picked up coronavirus back in March. You pick up chest infections. If you've got mold sickness, it hits the respiratory system. So you're just much more prone to picking up illness parasites being one of them I picked up parasites so you've got to constantly work at supplementing to build up and strengthen your immunity and at the same time those of you that maybe have candida and SIBO or gut related issues that are maybe not related to mold toxicity but if they are then either way, some of these supplements will help you. Or if you've had parasites and you've just got rid of parasites, any gut related issues, there's one or two supplements and also the immune boosting supplements that I take will help with your gut health and keep that immune system strong. So I'm going to start with gut related, what I'm taking and what I used to take. When I say used to take, I'll go back to March, April when I found out I had parasites and what I took following the parasites. So at the same time as having the antibiotics for the parasites and the food poisoning, I also took Toxaprevent, which I talked about in my part one of supplements, which is this one. Again, if you've got parasites or any kind of bacterial infection, uh, food poisoning in the gut, this is a good one to take because again, it binds onto the toxins that are released from the parasites because parasites are vile and they have a catastrophic effect on the body as well and flushes them out the system and something else i was put on was bio me essential so bio me essential i don't take anymore i don't need this anymore but when i had the parasites and the food poisoning i took this two twice a day and this is full of organic herbal ingredients and this helped with all the inflammation in my gut that the parasites and the toxins from the um, the bacteria and, and the uh, food poisoning had caused. So this was just kind of like, just really promoting good gut health and the microbiome function and uh, the inflammation. I don't take it anymore because I just really don't need it because the parasites have gone now and the food poisoning's gone, but I keep them in my cupboard because you just never know. The other one that I take daily, and I take, uh, I take three of these a day, one with breakfast, one with lunch, one with dinner. This just helps with, again, gut health and the mobility of my gut. So the digestive tract and the gut mobility, it just helps keep things moving. So BioMe Kinetic, I still take it and I will continue to take it. If you have Candida, SIBO, any gut related issues, I highly recommend this one. And again, it's all organic herbs. So you've got things like ginger root in there, ginger's so soothing on the gut. There's bioflavonoids in there, good mixture of organic herbs and bioflavonoids. So I really recommend that one. So back when I Found out I had parasites. I was put on these as well, which is I can never pronounce it. And because it's real talk, I actually don't care whether I can pronounce it or not. Uh, Saccharomyces boulardii. It's a probiotic, basically. I don't take this anymore because I reacted to it. And I think because of the amount of imbalance of gut bacteria in my gut, some practitioners and nutritionists will recommend this because it's a probiotic. It's just loads of good bacteria. Because of my parasites, I was told by my nutritionist that it just wasn't helping, really. So in the initial stages of having the parasites, for some reason it was important. Don't quote me, can't remember why but going forward, it caused bloating. So with lots of prebiotics and probiotics, just be really careful with them because you'll get told to, um, oh, get probiotic, prebiotics, but you can really bloat with lots of them. So believe it or not, I'm not actually on any pro or prebiotics at the moment. I just, I'm kind of feeding my gut with nutrition and I think that's the best way forward for me and it's really working. I've got no bloating at all at the moment and this made me bloat but for some of you it might help 
and this is where it's really important to say that always consult your practitioner, your nutritionist, your functional health doctor, whoever you're working with to get well because what works for some people doesn't work for others and this is just like a classic example, this just didn't work for me but you may have different advice and it might suit your body so that's just like a classic example of always to consult your practitioner, your nutritionist, doctor before you take any of these supplements it's really important for me to just keep saying that because all our bodies are different another supplement that i take for my gut is the berberine and grapefruit seed supplement i take this every day you have to take it away from food so i take two mid-morning and two late afternoon it makes my weed go like a bit like lime color they are lime in color but it says what it is, it's grapefruit seed, it's a combination of organic herbs and again bioflavonoids and yeah, just all organic, all herbal. This is really, really good if you've got candida, food poisoning or had parasites or you've got any viruses. This is supposed to help with any bacteria and viruses within the gut and especially candida. I like to make sure my candida and my SIBO is at bay, which are both in turn caused by my mold mycotoxins. So yeah, highly recommend this one. Before I knew I had mold cirrus, I went to see a gut health specialist one of the top gut health specialists in the country and she advised me against a lot of these supplements and to just go on the low FODMAP plan and then slowly reintroduce after four to six weeks of being on the low FODMAP plan I'm not saying that's wrong but her advice was that this is a high FODMAP supplement because of the grapefruit seed and there I think there's artichoke in it as well or there's artichoke in one of these gut health supplements but I wasn't happy with that advice and the reason being is because I've been on a low FODMAP plan for two years and I just want to mention here that that's not healthy a it's boring and b it's just not healthy for the gut to be on a low FODMAP plan forever low FODMAP plan should just be for four to six weeks and then you slowly reintroduce foods again um, I'd done it for so long that I just thought I'm ditching the low FODMAP now and I went straight onto Petronella's plan and that gave me a blank canvas because it's just protein and fruit and veg but then when I reintroduced like apples and bananas and all these high FODMAP foods I was absolutely fine on them and there's one or two that I can't have and um, butternut squash I struggle with but I persevered with this and I'm really glad that I did because I think this has really, really helped my gut, definitely. So again, another example of always consult your practitioner, nutritionist, doctor, because it's got to be what's right for you as an individual. And for me, that's a good one. And another gut health one that I take, beta and HCI. And the reason why I take this is because of the parasites and because of the mold toxicity in my body, it suppresses my immunity. The mold sickness suppresses my immunity, which we've already discussed and I've already told you about, which then makes you prone to the parasites from foods. Because don't forget, you could eat a piece of fruit or a potato that's got mud on it still. You know, and we have parasites within our bodies anyway. Some parasites are good for us. Not all parasites are bad for us. Some of us will eat parasites every day, but your body is strong enough to flush them out. Because of my mold mycotoxin sickness, I'm not able to flush out those parasites so well. So I take this because basically, because I'm not a nutritionist, I don't want to try and reiterate what my nutritionist has said to me in his terms. Best way to explain it, it's like having bleach in your stomach. So anything that hits your stomach that isn't good, i.e any form of parasites, this will straight away kill it. So if you think, or you definitely know when you've been tested that you've got mold mycotoxins and you're on the protocol and you're recovering, then I highly recommend this for your stomach because anything that hits it whilst your immunity is low, it will blast it away. It's literally like having bleach in your stomach. That's it for my gut support. The ones that I continue to take are these three and that's where I'm up to now. But as I say, I've taken more in the past. I've taken gold digestive enzymes. 
I was on those for about two years. They really helped at the time. If you've got SIBO, I took Probiotic 3 and I took that in the morning and at night time and that really helped my SIBO. I've tested negative for SIBO now. This is how well I am and this is why I'm really trying to share what I'm doing because my Candida and my SIBO have gone. So it's obvious that it's the mold treatment that I'm doing and everything else that I'm doing nutritionally and all the biohacks and the antitoxins, they're all helping and the Candida and the SIBO have gone. But yeah, that's what I'm taking now for gut support. Immune boosting, this is what I really get more excited about, the immune boosting, because when you've got mold microtoxins in your system, you've got to constantly support your immune system. And when I was tested for mold SIRS, mold microtoxins, I discovered that I had no B vitamins. My B3 was like mega, mega low, like you won't believe. B12 wasn't too bad actually, and I had no glutathione in my system. And the same with folate as well, folate was low, which then would mean that my energy levels were really low because you need all your B vitamins because they help cell metabolism, which means they help your energy levels so if you're feeling really tired and groggy it could be that your B vitamins are quite low so the mold mycotoxins had suppressed all my B vitamins and my folate and that is what mycotoxins do to your body and my system just didn't have the ability to deem those awful mycotoxins harmless. So it was just literally eating away at my body. I'm just so lucky that I found it now, I really am. So on that note, what's really important for me is a supplement that's B-complex. So this one is BioCare and you want a methyl B-complex. So if you have been tested, this for me is the literally the best B-complex vitamin that you can take. Already, I just feel kind of like I've got a spring in my step, I've got energy, obviously that's a common combination of everything that I'm doing but this is massively important and it's huge and I only take one a day so it's just one a day of these but I do have intravenous supplements as well which I probably should keep mentioning whilst I'm doing this because to speed up the um, eradication of all the mycotoxins in my system I'm doing lots of detoxing with intravenous supplements and I keep mentioning biohacks and uh, yeah different different things that I'm doing it's not just the supplements but this is a massive one and I also supplement when I have an IV B vitamins as well. Next is the old big C, vitamin C, a huge antitoxin, just boosts your immunity massively. With coronavirus and the pandemic going on, I strongly advise everybody gets on the vitamin C. It's just the most strongest form of antitoxin to help strengthen the immunity that you can take vitamin c obviously you can get it nutritionally as well fresh orange juice helps but you're never going to get the amount of vitamin c that you really need daily so i think i used to be on when i was trying to kill the parasites and the food poison in my gut i was on a thousand milligrams a day i think now i'm taking two of these a day amounts to about 600 milligrams it's perfect for me and uh, i feel great so that's helping boost my immunity as well. So you've got your B complexes, your vitamin C. Also, um, my other immune boosting supplement, which I've already told you about again, is the turmeric. Turmeric is just incredible. So not only is it going to help eradicate and get rid of and fight um, mold mycotoxins, but it's also going to boost your immunity massively. So turmeric, vitamin C and B complex. And folate, I mentioned folate. So to get more folate into my system, this isn't great for vegans, but if you're not a vegan and you do eat meat, I'm trying to eat liver once a week as well. Huge amount of folate from liver. So I'm trying to eat liver where I can. And then my other advice would be find some liver support. So you could just get pure milk thistle so milk thistle with the turmeric would be great liver support, but I prefer this one. It's new root liver support. And within that, you've got milk thistle, we've got dandelion, artichoke, everything that we need to keep our liver cleansed. And I take two of these, two before breakfast, two before lunch, and two before dinner, but on an empty tummy. So about 20 minutes before I eat, at least 20 minutes before I eat. Definitely need the liver support, that's huge. Vitamin D, huge, supports your immune system, supports skin, healthy bones and mobility. We get loads of this in the summer from the sunshine and which I'm sure you've already 
heard about in the winter time I take this daily this is a really good one to take as well because it's vitamin d3 and it's really high in vitamin d3 so strongly advise taking this type and this brand brilliant so in all vitamin d in the winter months definitely uh, vitamin c your b complexes and liver support all and with the turmeric as well all help boost your immunity and really really important especially if you've got any form of mycotoxic poisoning we really need to keep that immune system really strong and with coronavirus and if you've got gut problems or you have diabetes or you have any form of chronic illness we need to constantly keep our immune systems really strong and um, I swear by all of these, what's that, five supplements that you could take daily that will definitely give you longevity, mobility and a healthier, a healthier life, basically. So just to briefly touch on the hair supplements as well, because I have talked about my hair loss. I just want to clarify, I didn't lose my hair in big chunks. Um, it wasn't that type of hair loss. It was just real hair thinning and the depletion of the volume and it was more prominent on the crown, on the top of my head. So I, I, I all of a sudden had a really white uh, exposed scalp down the center and on my crown. So that really kind of, it made me think, oh my God, what's going on? My hair's really thinning. And it, it just thinned all over. My hair's all virtually going back now. I've got no white patches in my scalp, but I think it's just really, really important to mention here that the hair supplements that I'm just going to show you that I take, I don't believe for one minute that the hair supplements alone is what made my hair grow back. I think it's the it's definitely getting rid of the parasites, it's making sure that I'm on the full protocol and making all the right fundamental steps to help eradicate the mold sirs, the mold mycotoxins from my body. And so that is going back to nutrition, removing myself from the mold I was exposed to and uh, supplementing IVs. And I just think it's accumulation of everything. But um, I just want to mention that the hair supplements are also supported by everything else that I'm doing. So I use Neurocrin and I take two of these a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. And I've been taking this now since January. I also have the cream, um, a serum that supports this, and I've been plastering that right down the centre where I could see all the white bolding bits, and I plastered it all over my crown, and then I rubbed it into the sides here. And I'll be dead honest with you, I don't do the serum and the cream daily. There's times when I can't get hold of it and it's not on Amazon or I can't find it. To be fair, you can buy this product from Holland and Barrett and Boots but when I go in, I can never get the serum. I can only get the serum from Amazon for some reason. So there's periods in the last six months where I've not used the serum daily. I'll be dead honest with you. There's a shampoo, a hair treatment and conditioner that I use as well. And I also have been taking biotin, pure biotin. This is like uh, 10,000 milligrams. I've been taking biotin for two years now. That I felt like that was working, but then when I lost my dog last September, Bella, and she died, all the re hair we growth that I had I lost it again and that was obviously my body reacting to stress via my hair but it, it wasn't just that it was the fact that my immune system was so suppressed from the mole mycotoxins that my body was reacting to things really terribly when they shouldn't have been and it was exasperated because of the mold mycotoxins and the parasites and and everything else is accumulation. So I think if I come up against some, something stressful again in my life, I'm fully expecting my hair not to fall out and that it will be because of the uh, mycotoxins in my body. So once I got rid of them and now got rid of the parasites, I should be fine. So yeah, I'd stop the biotin because there's biotin in this, so you don't take the two together. That's really important. You can take this if you want, if you prefer but I prefer this because it's got other ingredients in it that help promote um, healthy hair growth along with the serum. And so yeah, that's just what I take for my hair. So that's it for part two. Thank you for listening again. And I hope all the immune boosting supplements, I hope this short video provides you with some more knowledge on immune supporting supplements. Again, 
please, 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 and I'm just going to keep saying this, I am not a nutritionist. I'm just somebody going through a really hard time. I'm full of mycotoxins. And this is what helps me. I'm an individual and all our bodies are different. So make sure you always consult your doctor, your practitioner, your nutritionist, whoever you're working with. Don't just go straight into taking these supplements because they might not work for you. But hopefully you can take the knowledge of these supplements and suggest them to whoever you're working with to get well and yeah okay well good luck thank you for listening and i'll see you in part three when we talk about how to help keeping the system of pooing going because i've said so many times now it's so important to poo shit crap whatever you want to call it and we have to keep going every day i've got a few natural supplements and tips that will help keep the system going so as always if you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you can obviously any comments any questions any queries just right below on all of my real talk videos i will continue to add contacts of practitioners nutritionists and functional health doctors so you can always go to them for advice if you really need to because i'm not a nutritionist and this is just my journey and i'm just trying to help other people so good luck and I'll see you in part three.